the fun. All right, so that was one word, one prayer from the Grammy-nominated album One World, released in 2020 by the Whalers. And join us now via Zoom from his studio in Florida is the band leader, Aston Barrett Jr. Sir, welcome to Smile Jamaica. Yes. Well, go on. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, everything blessed. Give uh, thanks. Um, first, how's the dad? Is the dad all right? Yes, he's doing good. Yeah. Um, thanks for asking. I was going to ask you which instruments you play, but I think it better ask you which instruments you don't play, because apparently you play many, many different instruments, don't you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, man. A lot of instruments. So that came from where? That came from just your father, or you just wanted to, you know, do drums and bass and everything? Well, really and truly, I wanted to learn the sound of the whalers, so I figured if I learned everything, I would be able to teach um, any musician that come around me. You know, so and it's also fun too. So how fun. did you how did you learn? I mean, did you learn theory or did you just learn by ear? Originally, it was by ear, and then um, as I gotten older in high school, then I took theory class. But um, my ears is um, much stronger. Well trained. And, yes, well trained, as I would say. So you play keyboard, you play drum. You, you were Lauren Hill's bassist, so you play guitar. He, what next, Neville? You play triangle and tambourine? You <laughs> play everything. Yeah, hey, hey, man. <laughs> There's nothing else left. <laughs> and trombone. Oh, yeah. you play trombone, trombone as well? Oh. Wow. Yeah, because it's the, it's the bass clef, you know? So that's gotcha. the wing, one of the bass clef on the wind instrument. Treble clef and yeah. bass clef. Hear the theory coming out there. So when did you, yes. when did you kind of come into the consciousness of the of the legacy into which you were born. You were about four years old, four and a half years old. How did you figure out, you know, that you were musical royalty, essentially? Yes, I remember um, I was sitting down one time watching uh, this Bob Marley and the Whalers show in Santa Barbara in 1979. And my mother came over to me and said, look, you see your father? And that's when he clicked to me. I said, wait, that's daddy. And then I start to be fascinated, really, about everything about him now. And I said, oh, man, and, you know. So I just pick up the bass, not thinking. My father saw many of his children pick up bass and never finish it. So he didn't really think I was going to do it fully. And then when he came off tour a couple of times and see me playing the bass, then, he, then he's like, all right, I think this one can have it. <laughs> and then, you know. And that's how it started, really. Yeah. Should, give thanks to my mother. <laughs> should, should have said at the top, congrats on the nomination. Tell me about the album, though. Thank you. Yes, the album was amazing, man. Um, we had fun making it. Um, it took a long while to make a Whalers album, as I said, because um, we wanted to make sure that it come out with that same impact. And um, we have a powerful team behind with pushing it because um, Bob Marley and the Whalers music is like no other. And as you know, they made the album of the century. So to just make an album with the name, you can't do that, you know? So that's why we got a great producer, one of the top producers in the music industry, Amelia Estefan. And um, as, as I said, my father always wanted, you know, a producer. He and Bobby told me, and um, we finally got this guy. So he, daddy told me, say, I have an open mind. And, that's what I did. I have a hope in mind, listen to him, the professional, and then put my style to it, and it worked. That's interesting, because I'm listening to that track, and it feels not completely like reggaeton-ish, which is, you know, very similar to our kind of reggae infusion, Latin fusion, but I, kind of, I hear a little bit of the, the love between the reggae music and the Latin music. How... How was that, um, how did that feel to you? Did it still feel authentic, you know, to, to what you were trying to do? Yes, it, it felt authentic because um, we're making a new, um, so, a new song. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. making a new song because um, we have to um, move to a higher level. As you know, um, as time goes by, you have to move with the time. It's not saying that there's not, it's not a lot of stuff on the radio that I'm a fan of. 
because I'm um, back in the 70s. You have Shaggy and you have Faruko. So Faruko bring the Latin flavor and Skip Marley and Sidella Marley bring the original roots flavor of the authentic sound with Bob Marley and the Whalers, you know? <laughs> and what about the it rest of the... fabulous having them. Yeah, what about and the rest Shaggy, of the songs? You know, Shaggy. What about... Uh, the rest of the songs, um, I would say um, we have Julian Marley on the album. We have um, this guy named Freddie who play harmonica for like Stevie Wonder and Prince. And I'm the Carlos. Uh, who play on um, percussion. He played on one of Michael Jackson's song called All You Had to Say That They Didn't Really Care yeah, About Us. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, yeah, man, it, it was great, man. Fabulous, you know? But that's not yes. it, no. You, you're working on, we understand, a number of um, other singles that you're going to release this year. Can you give us some information on that? Yeah, you know, it's, just, it's funny you said that because I just spoke to Sony yesterday, one of the guys there, man. Uh, we're discussing one of the sing singles to come out next and our next music video. So once once we hear the, the, the go from Amelia, then we're gonna do it. How you feel about the, the, the Grammy nomination? Yeah, we feel good, man. Feel great and proud, you know. We can, we work very hard to to reach to this level. And um I wanted to make sure I made my father proud because um mm. Franny gave me the torch. Like to move forward, he and Carlton never gotten a Grammy. So for Whalers to even be on this kind, just to be nominated is just amazing. And my father feel proud, and I feel proud that I accomplished it, and he was here to see it as well. So how you feel? How you feel? Think you going a bit? Um, you know, I never really think about it so deep, but <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like we will get it. You know. But if we don't, it's all right. But what would so nominated, you know, yeah. so. what would some, <laughs> what would something like that do for you? Do for the band? The fact that you're nominated, the, the, obviously that helps, doesn't it? Yes, of course. On a business, you know, yes, it will definitely help, and you know, it, it will definitely put put um, wheelers back on a different category where it needs to be on. Yeah. Where it should have been on from back then. So now I came in and I fixed the, fix it. We basically fix it. So, so let's, talk, let's, let's talk a little bit about yeah. that fixing because um, now that you've taken over from your father, right? Um, you, you, uh, up until 26, he was heading it. Wait, as now you're, you're, you've taken over. Um, obviously, your dad spoke to you. You're next generation, but he said you said he told you if you can't look back at the past and do the same things, you must at least do things differently, but with the same respect. And you've said, yes, we're in a new school now and some things will have to change, but the essence of the Whalers' music will not. So how you straddle that line to make sure that when you're fixing it, um, you fix it the right way? How much pressure is that on you? It's not pressure at all because, uh, I mean, it's, it's natural for me. So Family Man and Carlton Barry Sound is natural. Um, both mine, you know, f mentally, physically, and spiritually, mm -hmm. you know, so it's all there. So when it comes to anything that I do, you will always hear their fingerprint, that gotcha. signature. Gotcha. Because yeah. it's in your DNA, right? You can't, yeah, you man, can't, it, it, you can't hide, you can't hide you know, from it. Regin, yeah. great to have you with us this morning. Congratulations. Good <laughs> luck. I pray that you, you get the Grammy and, and hear your dad for us from here. All right? All right, All right. Wayla is taking us out with the uh, philosophy of life. Another song from the Grammy nominated album, One Word.